Hey guys, welcome to Tech Roofs, your single stop for all the tech tutorials and news. In this tutorial series, we're going to be learning about hacking. Now, before we get into any of it, I have to put a disclaimer out. I take no responsibility whatsoever for your actions. And this tutorial series is just for sharing my knowledge and gaining some from you guys. Now that we have out of the way, let's get into it. Here's an index of all the things that we're going to be covering in this video tutorial series. We're going to be building up a lab, a proper domain. I'm going to be telling you how to set up your penetration testing boxes. We're going to be learning about binary exploitation, metasploitable and a lot of stuff. We're going to be discussing a lot of penetration testing techniques such as social engineering, phishing, which kind of falls into the same category. Now this tutorial series is different from other tutorial series that are provided by other channels on this YouTube platform just because I have seen many of the videos that just offer reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is just information gathering and yes, it is a very important step in penetration testing and the first step to be very fair, but just reconnaissance won't get you anywhere. So this penetration testing tutorial will be very detailed and very thorough. We're going to be learning about cross site scripting, SQL injections, which is a beginner stuff, but I'm going to be teaching you how, how to make your custom backdoors etc and the best part is you're going to be making your own exploits we're going to be learning bash and ruby and all of this will be covered in this tutorial series now let's set up our penetration testing box first i'd like you to go to kali.org where we can download the penetration testing image just go to kali.org go to downloads download kali linux and download the ISO or torrent, whatever you wish. And uh, I already have that one, so I won't download it. And let me just close this. And open hmm, my virtual machine. Okay, just download a VMware workstation. Any will do fine. A virtual box will do just fine. I'm using workstation because I like it more, uh, but you can download any. Go to file, new virtual machine. Typical next just click over here and it will ask you whether you want a CD drive or an ISO image directly from your computer. I have an ISO image already downloaded. So I'm just going to browse to it. And here it is. As you can see, I have a crap ton of ISOs open next Linux. Well, it is Ubuntu right here because it is based on Debian. Next, you might want to name it Kali. Next, I would recommend at least 45 gigs of space, though 30 or 35 would do fine. Customize hardware. Here you can give your virtual machine extra RAM. I am going to give it at least 3 gigs. And this is the processor core count. If you have quad core processor, that's very good. I only have dual core, so I'm going to have to compromise on the processing power. But if you do have, please, please, please increase the processor count. And let's just, just click finish. And power this on. Now this VMware is booting. Just close this and click. Now you want to go to graphical install or install whatever you choose if you're a beginner go to graphical install it is just going to spit out some code you do not need to worry about that select your language mine is english united states select your country india your keyboard layout, probably your keyboard layout is American English and you can change this later after installation if you somehow change your keyboard or something like that. So I'm going to guide you through the whole process of installing Kali Linux. And let's just wait for it to finish. I will probably fast forward it in post.
Okay, I'm definitely going to fast forward and post. Okay, just put your host name over here. I am going to care. Actually, do not post Kali as a host name because whenever you search or ping a server, or if you trigger an intrusion detec detection system, uh, usually web administrators look for the host name Kali. So name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Pandora because, well, whatever. Uh, domain name, if you have a domain name, just enter it. I do have a domain name, techroos.com. We're gonna be putting up our website very soon. And just put up a password. Make sure it's a alphanumeric password because while well, you're getting into penetration testing and your passwords need to be strong. And it's setting up. Use the entire desk. Continue. It's going to ask you the partition. Yes, we have made this 43 gigs partition. Click OK. All files in one. Well, uh, I'm just going to put all files in one. But if you guys do want an advanced installation tutorial, please write it down in the comments below. Click finish. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to pause it and you guys should wait for the system to install and I'll resume it as soon as it's finished installing or at the point I seem appropriate. Hey guys, it's finally finished installing and we're gonna configure this, go yes, continue. And if you have an active internet connection or your main host, that is my Windows host, then it will try to get some files online, which should be fairly fast if you have a good internet connection. Right now my internet is barely working, so it'll take quite some time. So again, I'm gonna pause it and continue when all these files are downloaded. Same thing should happen to you and let's go. Hey guys, so all the files just finished downloading and it's installing Grub bootloader. We're gonna be talking about Grub a lot because Grub is, to be very frank, is a pain in the ass and it's gonna be your main bootloader but this is just a virtual machine so you're all good. And this is, this should install fairly quickly but let's see. And I think I should pause the video again. <laughs> Oh no, so it's asking whether you want Grub bootloader to be the master bootloader and just click, click continue, we'll talk about that later. Enter device manually, we just got enter dev SDA because this is your uh, partition label. Click continue and wait for it to finish. It is running all the commands, these commands are available to you in the terminal itself. Okay, let's just wait for it to finish. It won't be that long now. Well, tell that finish if you guys have any questions or any queries or any requests regarding penetration testing or any questions any please leave them in the comments below i will be reading and i will be answering each and every one of them and voila click continue this will take about 30 seconds by the way that continue was for the notification that your operating system has installed and this is just running some final steps and uh, let me just pause it till it finishes hey guys it just finished installing and uh, we have this menu we can just press Kali Linux and it will board into our new operating system and uh, just after a few tweaks we can go on hacking
it's starting all the services and let me just full screen it and there you go ladies and gentlemen we have a new operating system put in your credentials root will be the default username and password that we entered during installation and click sign in and there you go guys this is Kali Linux and uh, well if you guys are having any trouble installing it please do leave it in the comments below I will be answering most of the queries or at least the queries I can because trust me I have a very busy schedule and this is Kali Linux guys and I'll see you in the next video tutorial and don't forget to like subscribe and comments of course and please share this video we upload every day and don't forget to check it out see ya